That feel when you're chilling, making games, and other game engines are flashing their cool autotile features, telling you you're not even a real 2D game engine. Well, I've had enough of it. Since Unreal doesn't have an autotile feature, I'll make one. I first drew a tile set to have something to test the feature. I want to be able to simply draw tile types, like dirt or stone, and have the tiles connect with each other, even between tile types something the Unity Autotile feature can't do. Something I love about Unreal is how customizable it is. I can derive of pretty much any Unreal's class without modifying directly the engine code. And I can create data assets that are simply custom data, that can be modified in the editor like any other parameters, to which I'll use to create the equivalent of Unity's Autotile rules. And finally, editor utility widgets that can be used to create custom tools using the same widgets as Unreal's in-game UI, making it pretty simple to use if you already made UI in Unreal. So first thing first, I created a rule editor tool, listing all Autotal rules already created to load and edit one. This data already has a tile set and two tile types, dirt and stone, set directly with Unreal's editor, but then manually setting all the rules for all the tiles would be a nightmare. So once loaded, the tool will show all tiles from the tile set as buttons. I need to define the rules for each neighbor of the tile, what type it needs to be, dirt, stone or empty, and if the type needs to be equal, different or irrelevant. Allow me to have rules like different than empty for connection that can be either dirt or stone, or then in between tiles that can be a stone block with a neighbor that needs to be dirt. To save some time, I made it so that right-clicking would copy the last neighbor rule. I also added clickable tile types to highlight the already set tiles to not miss any and automatically set the tile type when editing a new tile. Then something that seems tedious in Unity is that you need to sort all those rules manually to determine which one should be applied first. And I'm not sure I understand why. It seems pointless. Please rage in the comments if I'm missing something. But I made it so that the rules are automatically sorted based on first, how many equal neighbors the rule has, second, how many different neighbors, and finally, how many irrelevant neighbors with the press of a button, which is a lot less work, equally as good, and way less error prone. Now it's time to set all those rules. It's montage time. Now that we have all our rules set, we need to edit the tile map itself. So I first created a new tile map derived class in which there is a 2D array, acting as a grid simply containing tile types. Then I can use the rules to determine what tile to use based on the 8 neighbor types. I made another editor utility widget to be able to draw the tile map, using the tile types as a sort of color palette, including erasing tiles. Using the pen, I can draw new tile types and I will automatically update all 8 neighbors tiles. Something that is really painful using Unreal's default tile map editor is to resize it. The origin position is top left, meaning that increasing its size will only increase it downward or to the right. So you either need to plan ahead, create another tile map, or move everything around and try to not break everything. So for my auto tiler, I made it so that adding tiles on the edge would automatically resize the tile map, even in negative coordinates, making it a lot more user friendly. I made a paint bucket tool to fill space with tile types. Another really bad thing about Unreal's default tile map editor is that you can't use the bucket to erase, because it's two different tools. So I made it so that erasing is a tile type and not a tool to be able to use all tools to erase as well. 
and while I was at it, I added a rectangle tool, which is always useful. I thought of making a line tool, but I felt the rectangle tool would do the job for most of the uses. Now, why did I make my own tool? Well, first, for the obvious reason that it took way less time to create than it would have taken me to learn a new engine and recode all the generic features I already created and reuse in most of my games. But more importantly, to be able to update it at runtime and have full control over how it works, so I can remove and add tiles and the tile map still auto tiles properly. But I could also procedurally create levels at runtime and have those levels auto tiling. I already have ideas of what I could make using that new feature, so stick around to see the games I'll be making with it.